everyone and welcome to the Ling Lazar. I am just getting everything ready workbox wise to put in for next week. So that's what I would show you what I'm putting in and then also some of the hands-on activities that we're doing. We're still in the early stages of going back to school so we have done a week and a day of school. Everything's going really well which is great news. <laughs> All the new curriculum is working out so that's great. Um, but I'm not adding too many additional activities yet other than our main curriculum. I'm putting obviously games in and things like that but I'm not adding too much in addition um, while we're settling into our new curriculum but I will show you um, what I'm putting in for this week. So we use All About Reading. Um, we are on All About Reading level 2. Um, we've just finished level lesson 10 this week so we're on 11 and 12 for next week we usually do two lessons a week. So I have my reading drawer here so each day I have a folder because I split the activities that go with it so I'm just going to take out all of last week's put them back in and then I'll get out this new week's lessons okay so for lesson 11 we are reviewing our cards to begin with and then we are doing an activity um, we are talking about speech bubbles then we've got our warm-up sheet reading our story and um, then we do our read aloud. So I split that over two days. So for the first day, which is Monday, we will read our word cards or review our word cards. They're older word cards, they're not new um, word cards. So they're ones we've already reviewed before, but we keep practicing um, our previous uh, read cards. And then this is the activity. So we're matching up the animals to the speech bubbles. And then we will read our practice sheet. Now this is the practice sheet for the actual story. Okay, so on the Tuesday we'll read the story. We'll also do a quick review of the, the sheet again, the practice sheet, and then we'll read the story. Then for Wednesday, um, we are talking about the syllable division rule for one consonant. Um, so here we split them. So between the vowels, the consonant usually goes with the second um, syllable. There are occasions though, like in this word, where it doesn't. And Although the majority of, of rules work, in certain words they don't. So it's, it's VCV words, so vowel, consonant, vowel. So seven, planet and finish are words that do not follow this normal rule. Um, but you know, the majority of them do. And like it says, you use the letter tiles to help them understand. You no, know, because they don't say the short sound, they say the long sound. So for example, this will say E instead of E. And um, that one says E, not E. So it's explaining to her why they're different. So splitting them up does help but also um, again it's just something that we push practicing on. So there was quite a few practice sessions for this with different words. Then we have an activity sheet. So for Wednesday my plan is to review our cards um, and then we'll do all of this and because it's new information we will stop after this activity right there. Then for Thursday we will do the Karate Fox activity. So it basically it's using a, uh, what do you call it, a toothpick to split the words, to chop the words where they will split um, to help them to read them. And then we have, so that's Wednesday and then, oh sorry that's Thursday even. So we'll do that Thursday and we'll also do the new word cards on Thursday. So the, these are her new reading cards for this week, for this lesson, not for this week, for this lesson. So we'll do those. And then on the Friday, we have our fluency sheet. So we will do our fluency sheet on the Friday. And we usually, um, because it is lengthy, so there's that page, then there's that, and then there's that. So we'll start it on the Friday, and then we'll read it throughout the weekend. Um, doing some evening uh, reading practice. So that's what we're doing for reading this week. So for maths, we are doing sex and math one. Um, we are up to, I think it's lesson 38 next week. So this is what we we've been doing this week. So I need to um, file all of those and then get out the new ones. And we're also starting our Muppet Girls, which I've already got out. Math centers this week, we didn't do them in the first week because it was the first week back and I didn't want to overload her, but we're going to add those to our math this week. Okay, so we do our lesson in our, act I teach the lesson, um, which always involves money. So we use UK money, obviously, time, 
um, the calendar and then an actual lesson on something. So we do the lesson and then she'll do her Muppet Girls skip counting. Um, this is by twos um, activity and then we do the worksheet. So there's always a lesson for the maths that is separate to the worksheet and then the worksheets usually just incorporate some element of the lesson but not exactly the same thing if you know what I mean so some things that you've done before some things that you're doing currently um, but the actual lesson is separate um, so there's the worksheets that she is doing um, for Monday after she's done her lesson I really enjoy Saxon because I like how they have the teaching lesson um, first and then you do your worksheet um, and in the actual lesson you're learning new things and obviously consolidating things from in the worksheet okay again um, Moffat Girls for Tuesday so this is by fives and then this is a master one so we're weighing something this is a master worksheet um, so that's part of the lesson is obviously to do with weight um, and then we've got our additional sheets Again, this is Wednesday, so we've skipped out counting by twos, mystery puzzle, and then we have our assessment. Um, so we'll do, we have our lesson and then our assessment sheet. And for Thursday, again, we are skip counting by twos. Then we have our lesson, which is in the book, which is what I teach. And then we have our worksheets. And on Friday is off on Friday. We only do uh, Saxon Monday to Thursday as per the curriculum. So on Friday she'll just have her Muppet Girls uh, Centre and this one is 120 missing puzzle pieces. So that's the curriculum uh, for maths this week. That's what we're doing in our work box. So the additional lessons out of here this week are in regards to weight. Um, it's also addition and graphing and then we review our double facts and our other edition facts as per the meeting. During our math worksheet, sometimes we will just write the answer on. Um, sometimes I will write some, she will write some, and sometimes we will use, <coughs> excuse me, um, hands-on um, manipulatives just to make it a bit more fun and interesting. So I have this little tray, so we've got um, number pieces, so we're actually from a clock. We have these little, um, again, numbers, I thought they, are shaped, textured, um, so they're really cool. We have magnetic numbers, salt, and then I also have this paint um, bag where she can um, mark her answer in paint. And then again, we use uh, things from our center for our maths, and we also use them for um, reading and writing as well. Okay, moving on to uh, language art. So we have our my printing book from Handwriting Without Tears, so we'll just do the next page along per day. Then we started off, this is our first time using this curriculum from the Wild Train Mind, Writing with Ease, Level 1. We really enjoyed it last week, so that's exciting. Um, so basically, if I can get the page, from week 2, so day 1 is copy work, so you have a choice of sentences. Day 2 is narration, so I'll read this paragraph to her, then she will narrate back to me. And there are questions as well. Day 3 is copy work, and then day 4, again, is another narration exercise. So here are the sheets, her worksheet, so she can uh, choose which sentence to copy. Then this is narration for, so this week it's from Pinocchio, last week it was from um, Little House, I can't think there, Little House, <laughs> the first book. Um, and then again, there's the copy work and then narration. So this is Pinocchio this week. For grammar, we are doing first uh, language lessons, again, from the World Trade Mind Level 1. We enjoyed it last week, our first time using it. So this week it uh, is narration for Lesson 5, The Rabbit and the Turtle. Then for Lesson 6, it is proper nouns. Um, lesson 7, common and proper nouns. And Lesson 8, again, common and proper nouns. That's what we're doing for grammar. Now, um, we are doing spelling this week. We didn't do spelling the first week. Uh, we gradually weaned in because obviously these are both new so I wanted to, to do those first but we will uh, bring spelling back into it now we have uh, virtually finished this book um, but um, before we go on to level two because we obviously we did take the summer off I just want to re quickly review from lesson 16 um, onwards um, that's when it gets more complicated so from lesson 16 to I think 
Let me see, other 20 lessons. I always forget in this one. Um, 24. So yes, yeah, so we'll just review lessons. It'll just be a quick review of lessons 16 to 24. Um, and then we will move on to our level two spelling. But I just want to make sure because these are where it gets more complicated. So, you know, is it C, a K or a S uh, sound? Um, you know, do we use, is it K or C? Um, so it's all the more complicated rules. Um, and then obviously the open syllables as well. It's more more complicated rules than just the regular. She's completely fine with all, all the regular, uh, you know, initial blends, short vowels. Um, but I just want to make sure we're completely comfortable with these because we have had obviously the summer off to make sure before we move on to level two. So that's everything for language arts in our workbox this week. We are doing the skeletal system this week. So we have um, our experiment ingredients that we need to get. We have our reading assignment, so the human body encyclopedia and then the additional reading. We have our discussion questions, optional additional books. We have our narration page on lap book, our vocabulary, I made vocabulary cards for all of these that go in our pocket chart. Um, and then these are the projects this week. So there's the human body project and our microscope um, where we're looking um, at a bone cell. And then there are three additional projects that you can do. Um, so we're going to do this one. So we're going to uh, make the backbone. And also we're going to do the school um, project as well with some water balloons. That'll be fun. I'm sure she'll enjoy that one. And then obviously there's the bone too. And then like the little poem memorization to help them learn all the systems of the body. So the skeletal system holds me upright. They're always fun. There's a little quiz as well they can do um, if you want them to do that too. And then we usually do the five day schedule. So that's how it looks like in terms of what we do each day. So extra bits and pieces. So um, that's the book where our experiment is from. I do have the body kiwi crate, which was really handy that it came with being the body because that's the unit we're doing first. Um, she loved doing this. So we made, we did this last week. So we put our anatomy poster up and then sewed the, it was the brain, uh, the brain, even, the heart and the stomach. We sewed those, put little eyes on them and stuck them on the door. She had so much fun doing that. So the other project that they have is making an x-ray in there. So we're going to do that. That's our extra thing. And then I've got some additional x-ray pictures. For geography this week, we are continuing on with maps, charts and graphs A for our curriculum, the places around me. And then for my... Geography unit study that I've made. We are visiting our first country because we didn't do this last week. We did do this, but we start in this this week because obviously last week was our first weekend. So we wanted to pace ourselves. Um, but we're starting this this week and our first country we're visiting as an airline ticket is the UK. So there's her map in there, her ticket, um, some information about the flag and the capital and her passport. <laughs> so the books that we are, I've mentioned about this curriculum in a previous video, I think it was my planning, not curriculum, but unit study that I made for her. Um, I mentioned it in a planning video. I'll try and link it below if I remember. If not, just go into my homeschool uh, playlist and under my planning video, the last one I did, you'll see it there. Um, but anyway, so basically we visit a different country each time. So the first country is the UK and we do it over a two week period. Um, so the books that I'm using are What the World Eats, Material World, Children Just Like Me, Ladybird I'm Ready to Explore My World, The Sticker Atlas of Britain and Northern Ireland, and Lift the Flap, Osborne Picture Atlas. So those are the books we'll be using for our unit study for the UK this week. History. We started Story of the World last week. Uh, she really enjoyed it, so we did. These are our additional readers. Archaeologists dig for clues, magic school bus shows and tells, and then our history encyclopedia. And we, experiments or activities-wise, we did an archaeological dig, which she really enjoyed. We also dug at some rocks, um, which was fun. So, you know, those ones where they're hidden inside the stone. Um, she really enjoyed that. And we also did a timeline um, of her... her milestones so from birth to now which she loved so that was for last week so for this week we are doing the earliest people so for additional readers uh, i'm just going to get those books out now for experiment wise we are making a cave painting and also building a hut for a toy so um that's, so that's a nature study activity so that'll be fun so i'll just get the readers out for this week so readers wise we have the history encyclopedia which is on our shelf we're also doing the first dog it's disgusting and we ate it and little grunt and the big egg this week she is making cupcakes and then 
Uh, I just want to go over a bit of vocabulary with her, um, just to make sure we're, we're, you know, completely clear on what all the tools in the kitchen are. So we'll do that first, and then we'll do our uh, recipe. And then for art, um, we are going to start Katie and the sunflowers and look at some Van Gogh paintings. Um, and then next week I plan to start our art um, project about Van Gogh. So this is an introduction to it. And for a, a fun art activity, um, we are doing art with Trista. Um, I watched uh, Homeschool of Bel Air talk about art with Trista, who, which is a YouTube channel. Um, basically, the lady, um, I assume it's called Trista, um, does different projects for children and then they can obviously watch and then make their own copy of it or interpretation of it. So um, we tried it last week and we did the colour wheel with mice and she absolutely loved it. She loved it. So we're definitely doing that again this week. We are going to do the apple still life. So we are using oil pastels for that and some baby oil and q-tips apparently. So it'll be interesting to see um, what our, our project turns out. But I'm sure we'll prob probably do something in our drawing book as well. And then for music, we will do our first classical music book and listen to our CD whilst we're drawing our picture of our apple still life. So that's what we're doing for art, music and baking. And for PE this week, we're doing our yoga and we'll also do some gymnastic task cards. Um, as well as a usual extracurricular outside of school um, sport activities that she does. Katie and Spanish, we will be doing our Keyboarding Without Tears class um, online, which she really enjoys. Um, we also do coding, so we are working on Scratch at the moment with coding, and we also do this Listen Learn First Spanish Worse. It's just a fun activity. You take the sheet here, put it in there, press all the buttons, and then it pronounces the word to you. So the, we're not doing too much Spanish at the moment because obviously we're just back in school. Our shelf this week, we have our history books that I mentioned on the bottom. We've got our Read Aloud this week, our old R book, and we've got some classics over here. Some five in a row books that we would do, will be doing with our UK uh, study. So Mr. Grumpy's Motor Car and We Get This. I've also got How to Make an Apple Pie and See the World, um, the Sea and Sign Inventions, Katie and the Sunflowers, as I mentioned before, and this little early reader, Apple Jack's Sister Surprise. Then we have our maths book at the top with Ellie Monatomy. I'm, that's our first time, her first time seeing it this week, so I'll be interested to see what she thinks. Peeping behind here is our Word a Day uh, book. So I have made vocabulary cards that we go over each day with our new word on. They go in our pocket chart on the wall. Well, the door. <laughs> pocket chart on the door. Uh, I just put that behind there for reference in case I want to do any of the review questions. So that's our little library this week. She also has her book box, so she wants to pick an additional reader she can. Obviously she has her reading book with her curriculum, but I always put some more out for her for different choices. Okay, for STEM this week we have a science experiment in addition to our regular human body. We have a pull magic experiment, which is going to be so fun. She's using red cabbage, lemon juice, um, uh, she's using baking soda all different um, things, so she's going to have a lot of fun with that. Um, as I said, for technology, I already told you what we're doing. For engineering, here's our STEM boxes. So we have our STEM cards here. Um, so I will give her some, or let her choose some boxes, and then she can obviously build whatever she'd like. Um, I'll show you the additional math games I'm getting out for this week as well. We're not doing a new STEM project this week, so we're just using our boxes. But um, next week, I'm going to do one of our Storytime Rapunzel projects. But as I said, you know, first two weeks in school, we're building up, adding new things in each week. So we're not doing anything other in addition for STEM other than our STEM boxes. But next week, we will, not the week after, we're going to do a STEM project, which I'll talk about more next week if I film this video again. If not, then we did a Rapunzel <laughs> and STEM project. Okay, for additional STEM games this week, we are doing the Code and Go robot mice. We've got Jack and Toby in there, um, and there's their little activity track. And then we are also doing some swamp. So those are for our enrichment STEM math um, activities. And then in terms of additional games this week, we have picked um, Dickety Dogs. So this is a fun little game. 
Telltale. Oops, that's now fallen. <laughs> Telltale, the play together storytelling game. This is with the wooden dice, and this is the fairy tale version. Uh, we had this out last week, and I'm putting it out again because she really enjoyed it. This is the Silly Story Laboratory. So you get all these um, magnetic words in here. They're all different, that are colour coded, and there are various different stories to pick, but there's also a space where if you just want to make up your own, you can. Um, and the words are all here, so you can either use their words and match them, or you can use your own words, which is how my daughter's been using it, and come up with some crazy, funny stories. So she loved that last week, so I'm going to keep that out again this week too. And then we've got the squirrel game, um, and then we have got these straw connectors, um, for her to have some fun with. So with these I either put them out in the morning or at some point throughout the day um, for her to have access to and play with. So these are additional handout, uh, handouts, <laughs> additional hands-on activity bins. That was what I meant to say. So for this week again not too much because we're only just getting into the school year but I've put out this puzzle for when we're doing all our read alouds um, for her to have a play with. Um, the Galt Tower Time Set, I really like this because you get the two dice that you can use for the hours and the minutes. Um, there's all these different stickers in it, you get your timers as well, one to, one to represent minutes to give them an idea as to how long it takes. Um, you get these other acti activities they can do as well, they're all wiped clean. Um, obviously you get the clock as well, um, and our Kumon telling time book. So for Tuesday I put in the Orchard Toy Money Match Cafe, so we can practice some coins. And we already do coin cup with our uh, Saxon mat, but I just wanted to do a little bit more practice with coins. Um, I always put our skip counting in, that's a staple that always stays in every week, so we, we practice tens, fives and twos. And then on um, Thursday, I've put the Telling Time math flashcards in with the cat pen, so we can practice Telling Time just slightly in a different way with the cat to make it more fun. I haven't put any uh, printables out this week at all. Um, as I said, we're just back to school. I don't want to overstep, but we will be doing some sentence building in our pocket chart with our Fix It Sentence pack. Um, and um, as the weeks go on, I will put some additional little bits and pieces here and there, seasonal things, Halloween things, things like that. But um, we have the squirrel, which obviously is obviously autumn appropriate for this um, this week. We're doing our still life apple picture. So we are getting some seasonal things in there too. But as the weeks go on, I will put some more Halloween printables in because I, I found a ton of um, Halloween things on Teachers Pick Teachers um, that I'll pop in. So that's what we've got this week. We show you our Halloween, what Halloween, that's a hair, not a crack, <laughs> our Halloween decorations that we've put up so far in the school room. We've not got too many yet, just um, my daughter's got a pumpkin and a spooky candle on her desk. But on mine I have the best thing ever in terms of smell and this is the Wickford & Co Halloween candle. I have had their Wickford & Co gingerbread one for Christmas for the past I think two years and it's still going strong. It smells amazing, you want to eat your house no lie um, but this is the Halloween one I don't know why I'm lifting it off because you can't smell it but that's what it looks like and it smells so good <laughs> so that's my little autumn decoration oh, it smells amazing for my desk <laughs> on a fun Friday as well we do our interactive notebook so we have science we have a language arts one and we also have a maths one and then the other thing we do on a uh, fun Friday as I said is our big uh, additional science experiment for STEM and our social studies. So interactive notebook for social studies and I also have some history that's related to uh, British history and where we live and then I also have our safety unit which is what we've been doing first so I'll just show you that. So for safety which is what we'll be, we'll be doing for the first I think it's six weeks this um our six units uh, seven so so we did um fire safety last week and she really enjoyed that and um, we did a practice fire alarm and where we would go to our uh, exits you know depending on what room we were in and checked for smoke under the door and whether the door was hot and all those kinds of things and it was just amazing she really enjoyed it and she really got into it and I asked her what her favorite thing was that day and she said to in the fire alarm <laughs> so um, definitely recommend this unit uh, next week we are working on water and electricity 
earthquakes and aren't really relevant to us but you know i'll still cover it because you never know you might move and you know you might move to a different country where earthquakes are a thing so i don't think there's any hardship in knowing about them you know we could be on vacation in a country and have issues with earthquakes i mean hopefully not but you know you never know never thought we'd have a hurricane when we went to florida but we did so um you know this is all things that you um need to think about so yes so that's what we are doing for our social studies at the moment for the first uh seven weeks well six now because we already have done one and then we will switch our social studies to do a mix of our interactive notebook for social studies and also our um british history and we also cover character as well during that as well during that time too um and multicultural topics as well here is our pocket chart as i mentioned earlier where we do our word of the day and we also do our fix it sentences. So here is our sentence in there. So basically she she puts the sentence in and she um, can then write it on dry erase or she can just read the sentence if she's not into writing too much that day. Um, and we have our vocabulary words for our signs down there. This one is for sell. I made these from our signs book. Um, I just thought it would be more interactive that way. And then up here we have our word wall things. And we haven't done one yet for this week. Because as I said, first week back we're slowly getting into it. But I've got some fun Halloween ones. So that will definitely be coming up soon. A bunch of different interactive activities in here. Different principles and everything. And in my seasonal folder. But as I said, we're working our way back in. I'll start integrating those um, as we go along. I've gone through the lesson plans for the maths for this week. And um, I have got these additional resources that I need to put into our hands-on bins um, so we are doing a uh, weight as I said so I've got some objects for her to different objects for her to weigh um, we need to use our pattern blocks when we're making a graph with them and um, we need these for some addition and then also some cards as well so those are the additional items I'll be putting into our hands-on bins for each day bins with the additional activities that are required for the curriculum popped in I forgot to mention as well, sorry about the glare, I'll try moving you, there you go. So on a Friday we do all our logic books, so our lollipop logic, our vocabulary book, um, obviously we do the word word, word a day every day, um, but we do our vocabulary book, our, lo our lollipop logic book and all those types of things on a Friday. I didn't show you the tray for that um, because it's just in a stack on the top of our shelves, but those are all the types of things that we do on a Friday and including our additional STEM science experiment to make it fun Friday. Yes, I hope this is enjoyable for you. Let me know if you like these, these types of videos and I'll be more inclined to do them. They take forever to film, that's anything. So if they're not really that wanted or, you know, that popular <laughs> to watch, then I might not continue to do them very often, probably just once a month, just because of the time it takes to film them. But if you do like them, let me know and I'll be more inclined to film more of them. Take care and I will see you in our next video. Bye for now.